West Midlands police are doing their bit to prevent violence at the forthcoming Euro 2012 Championships. The force has a total of 250 banning orders in places across the region, preventing known troublemakers from travelling. Well, the orders mean fans have to give up their passports for the duration of the tournament. Those that fail to hand them in were arrested this morning after police raided their homes. Our reporter Callum Watkinson went along on the operation. An 18-year-old Birmingham City fan is brought in by police, one of three arrests across the West Midlands early this morning. They had failed to hand in their passports, as their football banning orders say they must, to make sure they stay at home this summer. Well, 96% of those subject to these orders across the West Midlands surrendered their passports at the first time of asking. For the few that didn't, the police have had to be a little more insistent. This morning it was that final mop-up of the last few persistent people who haven't responded to the letters, haven't responded to our phone calls, uh, knocks on the doors, all the other work that we've done to try and get those passports in. This is what police don't want repeated. Mayhem on the streets of Charleroi at Euro 2000. There's been no large-scale violence abroad since and police put that down to banning orders. They are really successful. Um, I mean, obviously, if you go back to the year 2000 when there was serious disorder abroad and we saw the introduction of banning orders, that has really significantly tailed off. And I would not be expecting to see many fans um, getting arrested for violence abroad. Not so simple, says a man who studied hooliganism in depth. A lot of it, of course, is due to restrictions on travelling, but also the way that, that football is policed by different countries. And we saw that in Germany recently, and we saw that as well in South Africa with, with the World Cup. So a lot of it comes down to how many fans travel, the atmosphere they go with, but importantly, how they're policed at the other end. And some think it's a heavy-handed sanction that's hugely overused. Not all of those on football banning orders will have been convicted of offences related to violence. Some of them will have been convicted for entering the stadium drunk, some of them for touting, some of them for drinking in view of the pitch. You have to surrender your passport every time England play abroad. You may find yourself banned from public transport. You may find yourself banned from the town centre or for entering a football stadium drunk, which is very disproportionate. Whatever your views on banning orders, this isn't a British export anyone is proud of. This morning's raids mean there are three fewer reasons for it to happen again this June. Callum Watkinson in Birmingham for Central Tonight.